Hey, Shalom. First of all, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Rakakudash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and wish life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Um, lower willing the video is edifying. The lower willing the Akim gets something from this video. I want to go into the ultimate judgment. Uh, of this place, uh, um, America, which is nukes, okay, nukes and destruction, okay. We always go into it, but you know I'm gonna keep going into it. It's prophecy, you know. These, this is a big, this is a, a, you know, a big prophecy that's that's to come, man. Okay, you know, it talks about you know this place burning. It talks about this place never being inhabited again. You know, well shit, two hundred. It talks about this place having two hundred thousand thousand nuclear missiles shot on it man you know shot on this place you know that wicked generation which is this place man you know that spreads this poison throughout the fucking earth man you know this is that place man this is that place this is malachi 4 and 1 it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven all and all the proud yeah and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord yahweh of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Okay, that day is coming, man. You know, you look, these things that are created, right? It says, you know, the uh, smith blows the coals in the fire. You know, these things, these instruments of war, right, are not made in vain, man. You don't, you think, listen, man, you, these nations ain't spending trillions, millions of dollars, dollars on, on missiles, man, to, to, to not, blast them off even if they don't want to blast them off they're gonna to have to blast them off because it is biblical prophecy man it is biblical prophecy it says i'm running back it says malachi 4 and 1 for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the all the proud yeah and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord Yahweh of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch okay yeah, so the day come with you know it's gonna burn burn uh burn these people up, burn these people the fuck up, man. You know? A lot of, it's not talking about the hell underneath the ground. It's not talking about hell, man. You know, that's that's not what the you know, hell the, we are in hell. You know, hell is a, a condition. You know, the thing the worst shit you could think about, it happens here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this place is gonna be destroyed, man. Okay. Let me grab this. Fourteen. Zechariah 14 and 12, it says, Zechariah 14 and 12, it says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Right now, all the people, including our people too, you know, um, you know, you heathens, man. You know, the two-thirds of you Negroes, you know, you fucking, the top heathen, which is Edomite, you fucking so-called white people. You know, you Edomites, and not all you so-called white people, because we understand that. You know, our, our some of our people are mingled with you people, so some of our people look like you people and appear to look like you people, but spiritually, they are not you people. Bloodline by bloodline, they are not you people, okay? You know, that's why we judge the spirit. We don't judge, you know, the we don't judge on the outward appearance, okay? Zechariah 14 and 12, it says, And, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Howell will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, right? So what, what instrument is going to cause this? Well, thermonuclear missiles is going to cause that, man. You know, you know, holes to consume away in their tongue. Uh, uh, they're, they're, uh, it's like it says, it says, uh, the flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Like, come on, man. You know, like they, this is the this is what's coming, man. If you ever seen um, Terminator with Sarah Connor, man, you see her grabbing the fence. That this right here, this in twelve, that's happening. You know, when that nuke is dropped, and you know that all that shit is ripping her ass apart. That's what this is talking about, man. Okay, the, hey, listen, man. These directors and all they know the scriptures, man. They they base their movies off of the scriptures. You know. You know. Let me grab this because I quoted it. Created Smith. Oh, so like you. Right here, Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I've created the Smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, 
and that bringeth forth the instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy that instrument of his work and the waster to destroy are thermal nuclear missiles, man. Okay, it says blow up the coals in a fire. So you got to think, right? You hear about this fire, you hear about the second, you know, the second destruction. You hear about, you know, a place burning, right? You hear about arrows being shot from one part of the earth to the other side of the earth causing fire. That's thermal nu Now, that's thermal nuclear missiles. Now, of course, they don't have a word for missiles in the scripture. So they were using the things that they saw, you know, to describe uh, the word, the things that they, the words that they were using were for that modern time, but they were, when they were receiving visions, you know, they were using the, you know, the words at that time to describe the shit that they saw that's going to happen in this time. Okay. You know, which is thermonuclear missiles, right? You know, they call them arrows, they call them horses, man. They call them serpents, flying serpents. They call them flying swords. Like, you know, these are, these are thermonuclear, we call them missiles, you know? <clears throat> Let me go to this. I think it's Isaiah 24. Let me see if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. It's good, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I get it. It's Isaiah 24 and 10. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. And the city of confusion is what? America, right? Which is also called Babylon. You know, the virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, right? This is that Babel means is what? Babylon means what? Confusion. Okay, it says every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Okay, it says in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction, man. So this place is going to be left desolate, man. You know, gone. Over with. Okay, over with. Okay, let me grab this real quick. Back up my point. To, fro. Right here, Isaiah 24 and 20. It says, Isaiah 24 and 19, I started, it says, The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. So it's prophesied in Revelations that, a revelation that this place is going to hit with two, get hit with 200 uh, million missiles. Okay, so that's what John saw, right? So when that when this place is getting hit with that much missiles, yeah, the earth is going to rock to and fro. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. That's talking about America, man. And I'm going to back that up as well. Let me back that up with this really fast. With Baruch, I loved a... Baruch, this what I'm about to get, man, this is a clear clear cut man this is a brook four and um yeah this is brook four oh, i saw that 32 it says miserable are the cities which thy children served miserable is she that received thy sons remember that word she okay that same she is the same she that rideth upon the beast okay which is america it says for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall so shall she be grieved for her own desolation, for I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Okay? Her pride, right? Which America is known for the pride. What is the mascot of America? The mascot of America is eagle, uh, eagle which an uh, eagle is the most proudest bird. Uh, is also a dirty-ass bird. Okay? It says, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. Now we're talking about this fire again. What is that fire? That fire is thermonuclear missiles. It says, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited for... Uh, of devils for a great time okay yeah and that, that's talking about america this place is going to be inhabited by devils you can read that in revelation 17 and i believe 18 as well um let me grab this really quick just to back up my point that is talking about missiles i'm gonna close out the video this is um second edge 16 um yeah i saw that 12 it says the earth is quaketh and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss. So it says, strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. Okay, now, it says, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss. 
when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So a bow being shot from one part of the earth to the other part of the earth. Now check this out. It says, for uh, behold, 14, it says, behold, the plagues that are sent and shall, and shall not, re the plagues that are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. So you got bows that starts fire that's being shot from one part of the earth to the other part of the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward. Even so the plagues that are sh that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Okay, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who uh, who will deliver me in those days? Because Ezra's is back today. Reincarnation is in the scriptures. 18, it says, The beginning of sorrows, great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power the powers shall stand in fear the beginning of evils and what shall i do uh when these evils shall come okay so yeah man look uh nuclear missiles are getting ready to touch down on this place man you know hey it, it, and it, it's in the scriptures man okay it's in the scriptures you know and those who can get it gonna get it those, those who can't get it well it's just not meant for you to get it right now you know and if you're an israelite you get it on the other side you know so with that, man, Lil Willie Videos edifying, Lil Willie Akim got something from this video. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. On to the next one. Shalom, Akim. Keep pushing. Shalom.